Hi everybody, it is December 1, 2018. Wow, each year seems to fly by more quickly. I will link below to all of the videos. I want to uh, tell you to listen to Paradise Lost, interview with the plain truth dot info on Paradise Fires. This is on supposedly Shelley. That's Shelley, and Jamie is in the car with her. And Jamie went up, and he's in Chico, and he is talking about what is happening there. And what is happening there doesn't sound very good. Sorry. All right. Doesn't sound good. He's talking about all of these white trucks and all of these people in blue uniforms and the military keeping people out of paradise, California, that people were vaporized and people are being threatened to not speak about what is taking place there. They keep saying FEMA camps, though I don't think it's the FEMA camp that we all know as a FEMA camp, but apparently FEMA has an army of people up there. And one watching this would say, well, of course they do. They, you know, need boots on the ground for all those people who lost their home. Well, it sounds like something far more nefarious is taking place. And we need more, we need more people going down there, filming, what is taking place, gathering the evidence of what is happening there. And there are people who I know, they've left comments underneath my videos. They've had their homes destroyed. I, I have a Chico subscriber. Sure would love it, you know, if she could also verify what Jamie is saying. Um, we need more. We need so many who will be making this information public. So the link is below to this video. I want you to watch, you know, in listening to Jamie and he talking about the military, um, keeping people out of paradise, and I know that nobody is allowed to get into paradise. I started doing some research just to see if there was some videos just posted by ordinary people showing the, uh, the military or talking about what's happening in paradise. I came across this video, California, something flying in the sky, campfire paradise. Watch what comes out of this smoke and watch how level this plume of smoke is at the top. There it comes. Okay. That's being held down. And frequencies can do that. What that is, I don't know. But I will tell you here in Anderson, South Carolina, I see a lot of these white lights, they don't look like planes, but the lights go on and off. Is it a drone? That is smoke from the campfire. Of course, mainstream media has to put up a fire captain explaining all of the reasons why nobody is allowed back into paradise, even those who have their homes still standing. Into their house, that's an issue. The very beginning was, um, let's see if maybe I started it a few seconds in. Here we go. Someone wants to get back into their house, that's an issue. The initial danger of why people were evacuated 
of course, was the fire. But as we know, uh, the hazards that are uh, a result of the fire are numerous. So people might think that the, the fire danger is gone, but the dangers around uh, structures, commercial structures around the town itself are very uh, immense, uh, challenging. Uh, that includes utilities, power lines, uh, phone lines, uh, road conditions, culvert issue, there's septic tank issues, there's hazardous materials that uh, are being dealt with. So all these things, hazard trees, are being dealt with on, on a, a basis by all cooperators in trying to make it safe for people to come back into town. Uh, we're having weather come in where the storms could potentially uh, push on these wires, knock these wires down. Uh, there could be, uh, if, if electric was here, these could become energized if electric found, uh, fell onto them. So we want to get the message out that every company and every person is really trying to work to make these areas safe for people to come back into. The secondary issue, or the subsequent issue, is uh, we don't want to allow people back in and, and create a uh, an issue of access for all the people trying to do work. If we allow a lot of the populace back in, it could hinder the work that these people are trying to do right now. Right now the priority is, uh, with all the cooperators uh, that have gotten together to try to get uh, this town put back together somewhat so people can get back in, uh, the, the focus right now is on the Pence Road area. I just want to assure the public that, it, that everyone is working tirelessly to try to make this community safe for people to come back uh, to their their homes or their residences uh, to find closure, to search for their belongings. Uh, we understand it. We're, we're doing everything in our power to, to make it possible for them to get back as quickly and as safely as possible. Okay, this was not a forest fire. And Americans are being murdered. And what is upsetting now, and I know that a lot of you are upset, the more obvious it gets, the harder it is to keep yourself balanced, especially when you are confronted with Americans who don't care, who don't care, and those who want to well, insult your intelligence as they insult you as a person because they simply need to believe that this was a forest fire because they just cannot let in that directed energy weapons were absolutely used. Look at this tree. This fire somehow just got the bottom of that tree. But there's no singeing on the trunk that is that would have stood higher. When you have a forest fire, they were talking about the flames, how high they were. But somehow that tree caught on fire, I guess, just from the ground and left no markings up higher. Well, I could come up with a lot of reasons for that, but there is so much going on. I wanted to find some verification of what Jamie is saying. It's not because I feel Jamie is not telling the truth. It's that we need more people who can gather the evidence to go down there to talk to people about what is taking place. If this is in Chico, there are people in Chico that have left comments below my videos, a subscriber, please do all you can. You're in the area. We need that. Now, this is drone footage. The reason why I came across this, that I clicked on this video, 
closed city. It is closed. Paradise, California. But once again, as you watch this drone footage, and this is the second of three videos, and, and the very beginning, you know, I did I don't know the landscape there. So I was looking at the dark areas thinking, okay, forest fire, but it left those trees completely fine, untouched, not even singed. So it looks lighter here. And then you go over to this area. I thought, okay, the ground is singed. No, I think it is just a darker color. Uh, you can tell that this was not affected by the fire. This is paradise. These are, these are some homes in paradise. So the drone footage goes on for a while. It's kind of slow. Um, but you see all of the trees. Nothing touched here. But wait until you see what's up here. And let's just move on up to it now. All right. Um, landscaped or is this a singed ground? Well, we have seen singed ground before and it's very defined. Directed energy weapons do that, not forest fires. But did the forest fire come up this way? Again, it doesn't seem like it did. It just looks like darker terrain and all of the trees are fine, still with their leaves. Okay. What are you looking at? You are looking at a home untouched, a decimated home, dust, a decimated home dust. Home fine. Home fine. Decimated. Home fine. Home fine. And there's another decimated at the end of that road. Streets are clean. The vegetation around it, untouched, not singed. So somehow this fire destroyed only isolated homes, leaving untouched homes on either side. This was a very tricky fire. This one's decimated. This one's fine. Forest fires don't do this. And flying embers don't do it either. I am so tired of listening to this flying embers. And I got a comment from someone who lost their home in Santa Rosa. Very upset with me that I posted that directed energy weapon compilation yesterday, once again trying to put out the evidence that directed energy weapons have been around for a long time, militaries have been using them, and yes, this was a directed energy weapon hit on Paradise, California. And I was called a name that I don't ever like to say, but it was, oh, well, I was a fucking C-U-N-T. And that I was exploiting people who have lost their home. Okay. I want people to begin to acknowledge the war that has been 
going on for many years. I want people to face the reality. Americans are being murdered in a gruesome manner. And Americans are being destroyed. Having their homes, their livelihood destroyed. Purposely, deliberately, it is not from a forest fire. Just like the flash flooding, weather is being used as a weapon. You want to tell me how this, all of these homes are fine, but you've got one level, two, level brought to dust. May I say again, in 24 hours, this supposed forest fire somehow shot flying embers because there's no evidence that there was a forest fire here in this neighborhood. But this fire, it shot out flying embers. And then I get people leaving comments. Well, you know, the roofs were obviously shingles that are very combustible. And in 24 hours, you're telling me a home that burned took out the sinks, the tubs, all of the porcelain. Was there marble in there? It's gone. It's dust in 24 hours. More than 11,000 homes? And you're going to tell me that it was the flying embers that did it to these homes only. Somehow, this home was leveled, brought to dust, no debris anywhere. And we were talking about those high winds, right? And we're talking about dry conditions. But I guess just these bushes weren't dry. And that's why they were left unscathed. And the home that abuts this structure is fine. And this home, fine. I am so tired of listening to idiocy. And that's what it is. And I am so tired of being insulted. My person, my thinking, everything. Simply because I need, and we all need, people to face the reality. We are at war. Gone. Dust. This home fine. This home fine. Please. The denial needs to stop. If it's fear, then you need to work on your fear and somehow muster up some courage to face the reality. that we are at war, they are using unconventional weapons, and it's right in your face. So somehow, this wildfire, I guess what, it came from here? A nice, singed, defined line, and then it leaps over the road, and well, some of this terrain is not burned, but you have, once again, homes brought to dust. There's no way. This defies logic. It defies credulity. It defies reason. when we are believing this official narrative, it's climate change. People aren't thinking, and we need them to think. This home brought to dust, this completely untouched. It looks like two structures back here, gone. This structure, fine. Yes, 
it's very hard to take. It is very hard to take. When you know, when you look at each slab of dust, either people died in a gruesome way or they're suffering as I speak because they've lost everything. None of this makes sense. None of this makes sense. If you have a healthy brain, you are looking at a picture that does not make sense when you're thinking in terms of a forest fire. All of the homes gone, leveled to dust, streets are clean, all of the surrounding trees absolutely fine. You have homes that were completely nestled in vegetation and you don't even see any singeing on this. Unscathed, untouched. Home after home after home after home. Gone. Another home. Dust. Nestled. Where is evidence of this forest fire? My God, we need Americans to wake up. We need that. We need boots on the ground in this area. We need people to take film. We need people to talk to people. We need to know what is happening. Please. This is going to continue. If we don't get Americans to wake up to the fact that this is this is absolutely war. This will continue. More and more people will be taken out. No evidence of a forest fire. All links are below.